All right, hi everyone, my name is Somal Cha and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about proxies. So I made a small smart library, so you can use this library to get random IP address and port. So whenever you're doing beautiful soup or web scraping, please make sure to use proxies. And with this, it just takes like four line of code to get the random IP. So I did all the hard, hard work for you, I created a class. So now let's see how do we use this proxy. So I'm gonna comment this out. So first of all, in order to use, we need to create a object from the class. So make sure to paste the entire code in a Python file and you can start write, writing your code from the bottom section or you can paste it in another file and you can say from the name of the file import. By the way, the complete text version of this is all, all already uploaded on my blog post. So please make sure to check, uh, please make sure to check that out. Everything step by step is mentioned here how how i mean how to use it everything the entire blog is i'm the entire uh, article is available on my blog so let me just quickly show you how to use this so first of all we need to create an object known as proxy proxy equals to so the name of the class is random proxy right Oops, sorry for that so i'm gonna say random proxy all right then i need to so this class and has an attribute known as um basically it has an attribute known as proxy request so i'm gonna say uh let's say r equals to then we say proxies because we already defined the class so we say proxy dot proxy request now we need to pass in uh, the request type and the url so the url would be of course um, https colon youtube.com oops that's dot com after that i'm gonna say a request type request type is gonna be a get request and by the way, you guys don't need to even pass in the headers because I have already included that in my code itself in my class. So by default, it pass in, it also passes the headers in proxy. So you can see URL proxies equals to proxy header equals to header, which is a private variable, which I have defined it up. So you don't need to know about all this stuff. You just need to know how to use this. So uh, URL and the request type is get, that's all. Now let's print the response. So it's gonna use proxies to hide your identity. Oops, sorry for that. So I'm a little bit slow in typing because I just bought a brand new keyboard and, uh, and I'm trying to get used to it. So, so let's say R. Now let's run this code and see how it works. So I'm gonna say run. So let me pop in this real quick. So here you can see now it tried this IP address and the proxy that did not worked out so it's gonna try another proxy and now we got the response 200 so now let's print the html content so now again if i run this it's gonna grab and random ip address from the website it does the web scraping and here you can see i got the entire html content of the page of youtube so using proxy is very important so please make sure to use proxy this library with this library it's just like instead of using, using a request.get, so what we used to do earlier was request.get, then we used to say URL, whatever, URL equals to whatever, and headers. So you don't need to do that. You can just use my smart library or the smart class that I have developed. So that's it for this video. The entire uh, text-based version is also there on my blog. It's also there on my GitHub. Please make sure to read it, follow it. If you love it, give a like, give me a like. Let me know by knowing that in the comment section below. Uh, so let me type some comments so I can make sure that you guys are liking my uh, videos. Uh, I try my best to also write the content and the article. So I'm also working equally very hard to get the text-based version of every videos that I make from now. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something new. Uh, if, you, if you have any questions, please list your questions in the comment section and I shall try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And let's end, end the video right here.